So, you're going to have to excuse me for this one, but there was no other way to do this without a mess of wires and stuff for right now. I don't have the best parts, and the Arduino doesn't have all the outputs that I would like to deal with. But, with all that said, what I finally have done is, in addition to the Atari 2600 controller and the NES controller, I now have the Sony PlayStation 2 controller working with the Arduino. As you can see, it's a mess of wires for now, but everything is totally functional. We've got the outputs from the controller, which are actually outputs and inputs, which go into the Arduino and out of the Arduino. We have some LEDs. The blue ones there in the little plus configuration are for the left analog stick, which would be this thing right here. And the red LED is for the X button right here. Since this thing has, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen different digital buttons, which actually can also be configured as pressure sensitive buttons. I don't have enough LEDs. Well, actually, I have plenty of LEDs, but I don't have enough of the output ports from the Arduino to be able to do this well. So we're just going with the X button and the uh, left analog stick. So I have the left analog stick doing pulse width modulation output. So depending on how hard I press the uh, control stick, like a little bit up, it starts to make it brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until it's at its brightest. And if I release it slowly, it goes out. Thing, same thing happens with all the other directions whenever I do them. Left. And as you can see, we can do multiple, well not multiple, yeah, I guess we can do dual axis. Alright, and of course the X button. And in conjunction, all of them together. All right, so this was a much heavier undertaking compared to the NES and the Atari controllers, but it was a uh, well worth its while. I feel like this can be used in many other projects, quadcopters, RC cars, all using this wonderful piece of equipment right here. All right, and there we go.